All right, we're gonna do all three parts of the lesson in one video. So the first one, we're going to use this net, or actually this bigger net, to help us find the surface area of the falling object. So just like when you're wrapping a present, or um, you have the surface of something, it's the outside. So we're gonna find the area of all of these, and then we will add them together. So base times height for any time we have um, rectangles, it's gonna be base times height. So in this case, for this square, we'll have five times four, I'm sorry, rectangle. We'll have five times four, that's 20. Um, that is also gonna be the same as this, five times four, that is 20. Five times four, that is 20. And these are all centimeters squared. Um, then when we take a look, this part over here, we have three, well, how long is this side? I don't know. So if, oh, I'm sorry, this three should be here. My bad. Um, this three is going to be on this side. So we have three. And then this side is going to connect to this side. So if th these two sides connect, that means these two sides will be the same. So this will be four, this will be four, and this will be four. So that means three times four, which is 12. Same thing over here, three times four, which is 12. Um, then the inside we will have, let's do an orange. We have three times five, which is 15. Now if we add all of these up, we have 20, plus 20, plus 20, 20, 20, 20, plus 15, plus 12, plus 12, um, 0, 0, 0, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I got 99 centimeters squared. 99 centimeters squared. All I did was take the area of each of those, um, of each of these rectangles and I add them up together. All right, let's take a look at that next one. Um, so in this case, we have a triangular prism. So we have triangle and this triangle has some right angles here. Remember the base times height of a triangle, the base and the height are going to be connected by, um, and they're gonna be connected by the right angle. So our right angle here connects the three and the four. So three times four is going to be 12. And then you divide that by two, you get six. So the area is gonna be six. Same thing down here, the area is six. And that'll be centimeters squared. Um, I'm going to keep that off right now, and we'll add that in after. All right, so now we're going to have these other sides. So if this side is 4, that means it'll fold, and it'll fold along this edge. So that will make this edge 4. So if they're right next to each other, that means this will be 4. Um, so then I have 4 times 11, which is going to be 44. On the right hand side, this side is going to fold up and connect to this one. So this will be a five. So we have five times 11, which will be 55. And then on that inside, we'll have three times 11, which is 33. Let's add them all up. All I'm doing is finding the area of different shapes and then adding them up. So I have um, six, remember we have to line them up, and another six, and we have 44, and we have 33, and we have 55. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, perfect. Let's add them up. You can put placeholder zeros. Six plus six is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, plus five is 24. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 14. So I get 144 centimeters squared for this one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that last one. Remember, you can watch this video over and over again if you want. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that last one. Also, don't stress because we will be doing more of this. Um, the last one, we're going to again find the surface area. So we have three of the same sides that are triangles, and then we have a different bottom one. When you see a triangle or any figure that has these little tick marks, that means those sides are the same. So if it has the same tick mark, that means they're going to be equal. So that means all of these sides are going to be 6. So that means all of these bases are going to be 6. Um, and what we're going to do now is we are going to find the area of each of these triangles. So when we have this, um, when we have this figure, we have 6 times 10 because base times height, which is 60, and then divide that by 2, um, we'll get 30. So each of these are 30. And this one in the middle, actually, I did not put that um, height there, but that is also going to be the same. Um, so that height is also going to be 10 here. And um, so that will also be 30. So if you have 30, 30, 30, and 30, we add them together, 3, 6, 9, 12. We have that zero there already. Um, so I get 120 centimeters squared, centimeters squared, because it's the surface area. And that's going to be it for our um, lessons. Great job.